Hello everyone, welcome to another Modest Musings. My name is Fear Dragon, and today's topic is going to be something uh, that always is a little bit near and dear to my heart whenever we have a live event. I just got back from WCS Montreal, got a ton of footage, oh my god, so much footage for this documentary. I still need more though. I'm still missing interviews with Puck and Peely Peely, as well as some other wonderful people that I want to uh, get interviews from. But I got uh, interviews with Jon Snow, with Semper, Poke Bunny, Kelazor, Rotterdam, Scarlet, uh, just tons and tons of awesome individuals. Um, I didn't even name them all. But I also got a lot of B-roll footage, got a lot of really cool stuff. Like uh, I caught the some of the final moments where I think Hearthstone beat someone. A um, lot of people expressing emotion, actually, during the first group stage. It was a lot of fun. Um, got, like, Tesla with a great reaction. Got Peely Peely. Um, super excited about winning a game. Got some people losing games. Um, I think it was, got a lot of really good footage. But, anyways, that is actually not today's topic. Uh, today's topic is about people. It's about friends in StarCraft. And how lost I would feel, I think, without really good friends in StarCraft. Um, StarCraft is a game that a lot of people always talk about is a very lonely game. It's a game where you play one versus one more often than not, unless you, you know, there's these other modes and everything, but a lot of people think of StarCraft as this one versus one game. It's you versus your opponent. The only other person in the game is out there to make you feel bad. Uh, they're trying to make you lose. That That is their way that they will oftentimes feel better is that if you feel worse and that can be very daunting it's quite literally a battle battle of wills in a lot of ways it's a battle of ego there's so much involved in that and it can feel very isolating when you feel like all of that pressure is just on you and not having somewhere else to share that kind of feeling that that pressure that anticipation I think can be very very difficult um I've gone through periods of Starcraft where I didn't talk with many people I have gone through periods of that with even other games uh I think a lot of these things I'm talking about are not even entirely exclusive to su uh, Starcraft a lot of them are comparable to just any one versus one game um tennis Super Smash Brothers, like a lot of these other games, like I think there is that kind of isolating feeling if you don't interact and develop and build a community. With games, physical games like tennis, um, even games like Super Smash Brothers where you pretty much have to engage someone in a local, like real life setting, it's a bit easier to avoid the problem. But in StarCraft, we have this thing called matchmaking. And this is actually something that didn't even exist in Brood War really where you just found an opponent, you didn't even have to communicate with people. There was, there's no need to. And because of that, I think it's a created this very difficult atmosphere for a lot of people who don't actively go out and reach out to other people and join communities and create communities and create friendships and bonds with people. If I did not have my friends in StarCraft, I do not think I would be here. I don't think I could have taken it. I don't think I, without my Collegiate Star League team when I was in college in 2011 and 2010, like I don't think that I would have stuck around with StarCraft if I didn't have that kind of support that not even necessarily was always like just giving feedback on my gameplay or anything like that. Nothing like that. Just having people that when I had a really shitty series of games, I could vent to them when I had even actually more so than like when I had bad days. So when I had good days, I could talk to them. I could, you know, share my excitement. I could show them the replay and it was, it just enhanced the entire experience. Like those, those memories I will treasure. And I think that it's a shame that so many people out there, I feel don't, don't have that kind of relationship with anyone um, for Starcraft. And I just want to encourage people, go out and make those relationships. Go out and make those friendships. A lot of my friendships for StarCraft and 
Smash Brothers and like all the other games and stuff, they don't come from always just, you know, luck, I guess. They come because I put myself out there. Um, I know there are very much shy people out there. They don't like putting themselves out there. They, they don't feel comfortable. It's outside of their comfort zone. But I think the online setting is such a amazing tool for a lot of people who are in that situation to figure out, yeah, you know what? I, I don't actually have anything to lose right here. I had a really good game versus an opponent. You know what? Sometimes I'd... I'd be very sad if anyone said, like, they've they've never played a game of StarCraft where they felt like their opponent played well, and, they lo and like, they themselves lost, but they thought their opponent played really well. Um, and sometimes it's okay to just, after the game, like, especially after you lose, say something like, hey, good games, like, would, would you be down to, like, do some practice or something sometime? Or, like, oh, well, you know, just... Make some friendly talk like, hey, really? Oh, my God. You, like, seriously got me with that harassment. Oh, my God. I'm like, Your war prism got away with one hit point. Like, that was insane. Blah, blah, blah. Not even from, like, a complaining standpoint. Just, like, a honest, we just shared this experience. You're not my enemy anymore. Um, we may have different goals. Like, I want to win, and I want you to lose. And you had the vice versa. But you shared an experience. And I think that's something that you can do. You can... Communicate. Not everyone is always going to be receptive to that. That's 100% true. But I think that you develop those kind of friendships. You talk on community things with people on Team Liquid or Reddit. You consider joining and playing in some of these other smaller tournaments like the SCV Rush Proxy Tempest stuff for like Diamond, Platinum, Bronze, Silver, Gold, etc. You have leagues like the Chobo Team League. Just get together, form a team with someone, uh, like a bunch of people. And playing it, there's communities out there. I remember uh, I did some events for StarCraft for a clan called The Art of War. Um, they have a bunch of different games, including StarCraft, and they had a really cool community. It was awesome. These options are there. These options are there for people. And it's up to you to take advantage of them. And I think you will not just be happier in StarCraft for it. I think that you will find that there is so much StarCraft can offer when you are able to really invest yourself in it. And of course, attending events is the time that I always remember all of this. And I remember the amazing luck I've had in just developing these relationships with some insanely awesome people. Uh, I... Part of this is also all cued off of the fact that I, I'm very tired right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. My eyes are oftentimes red for this because usually it's because I'm waking up. Right now, it's like almost bedtime for me. So I'm recording this the day before it goes up. But uh, I'm extremely tired because I had a long day at work and I cast the Lady StarCraft League. But I also got like four hours of sleep because I was on a Skype call with some friends and it was a seven hour Skype call. We just talked about Starcraft and yeah, so we talked about like WCS Montreal and just having fun and sharing stories and talking about like future it was it was great. It was an amazing experience like realizing and remembering how important having friends is in this one versus one game that is so intense and difficult, but so gripping. So yeah, if you haven't done it already, please put yourself out there. Um, that's going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time. More updates on the documentary another time. I, I want to keep some secrets for this and uh, let some secrets slip out in like the, the trailer that I am eventually hoping to make. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.